<laughs> Welcome back to Morning Break. And we are so glad to have Sarah Johns back with us today. We're already laughing because you've had quite the morning, you know, yeah. as a mom and stuff. So yep. we are so glad you are here taking a break from the kids. So <laughs> excited to be out of the house. I mean, they're five and three and they've been holed up in the snow. So, so mommy you needed some adult house. time. Okay, <laughs> let's talk business. Okay. You are the president and CEO of NCET. Yes. And you've got two events coming up that's geared specifically towards our local business owners. Yes. Yes. Tell us what's happening tomorrow. Okay, so tomorrow I'm very excited. We have a free event and that event is called NCET Biz Cafe. And during the COVID, um, during COVID, businesses could get an EIDL, also called an EIDL, that stands okay. for Economic Injury Disaster Loan. And that's financed through the U.S. Small Business Administration. The payments for those loans were deferred for two years mm -hmm. that is now sunset and yes. people have to start paying this month so if you don't know how to go about setting up your online payments if you just need to talk to somebody from the U.S. Small Business Administration. We have the Northern Nevada representative for the U.S. Small Business Administration giving a presentation tomorrow. That's at the Innovation Center. Networking begins at two. Her presentation is at three. And again, it is free. This is wow. at the Innovation Center. That is really important. Let's go ahead and take a look. I think we have those uh, all of that information on the screen there for yep. you guys. So if you guys are following along, that's what you guys are looking at. This has got to be huge because COVID pandemic, it hurt our small business owners. It really did. The loans were great. They were a huge mm -hmm. help. But now that we're coming kind of on the other side of it, there's probably so many questions that people have. So many questions and you know, it, it we got one. So it was kind of hard to yeah. get somebody on the phone. And I just happened to, you know, have a meeting uh, with s some local entrepreneurs and they connected me to the U.S. Small Business Administration. Mm -hmm. And I said, hey, you know, I would love for you to present because I'm sure a lot of people yes. are having a hard time just getting someone on the phone. You know, you send an email and, and, this is a way to mm -hmm. get a human in the room. Yes, and if you have questions, bring them. I'm sure she'd be happy to answer them. And she's them. great. Elizabeth is great, yeah. so we're very excited to have her presenting. Okay, so that is the NCET Biz Cafe. Yeah. You also are bringing back Biz Bite. is that that's right? That's right. Ah. I'm so thrilled that we are relaunching Biz Bite. So that's our luncheon, and typically our luncheons are every third Wednesday of second, third, fourth. Usually our biz bites okay. are every fourth Wednesday of the month, but this month we are pushing it to February 1st, and that's because we have a new home. I'm oh. so excited to say that our biz bite luncheons are now going to be at the Reno Public Market. And again, this goes back to the ethos of NCET. We really want to be supporting our local mm -hmm. entrepreneurs, our local small businesses. And what people will do is they will buy their, or they, they will get their tickets through NCET. They will register through us, and we will give them a food voucher or a, a gift card is what okay. it is and then our attendees will go down on the main floor they can pick one of 18 meals what? they can go to one of 18 vendors and again these are really micro entrepreneurs right they are people who went from a food truck and now have a brick and mortar location mm -hmm. and we just really want to support our local yeah. micro entrepreneurs no we literally just earlier in the show had a whole story on that new kind of cafe that the reno public market has yeah so many different restaurants i heard brazilian gourmet yep. i've heard crepes i've heard street tacos anything you could want this yes. place has. It's <laughs> phenomenal. And walk and roll is uh -huh. there. That's that Asian fusion. And what's really cool about it too is that there with so many different restaurants, there are gluten-free options. There oh, are vegetarian important. options. Yeah. And so people will have the option to take this gift card and go to any one of the vendors and select their lunch. And then our presentation will be upstairs on the mezzanine. And we are so thrilled that athletic director Stephanie 
Annie Rump is going to be our first speaker oh, with this new awesome. relaunch of Biz Cafe. Oh, that's awesome. Do we have any ideas to what she's going to be speaking about? No, but if I were to guess, <laughs> I definitely would think about um, being a female in the athletic world. An important You know, topic, talking yeah. about her history. She's mm -hmm. so well respected yeah. as an athletics leader. And then also just taking a look at what's topical, the safety of athletes, mm -hmm. you know, talking about the safety important. of athletes because of what we've seen in the national news here recently. Yeah, absolutely. So let's go ahead, take a look at your screen. There is um, all of the information that we want to put up there. That's the NCET Biz Bites. So yes, definitely want to check it out. All the information is there. And of course, if you're not taking notes, which I mean, why wouldn't you be taking notes during the show, right? <laughs> um, I will put all of the information on our website, colatv.com, as well as where you can go ahead and get your tickets. So Sarah, thank you so much Thanks for being so much here. Thanks so much for having me. Oh, I love it. This girl, she needs to give me a cup of her energy <laughs> so I can drink it all day. Or you could just borrow my two kids and give mama a break. We'll be right back. <laughs>